Okay, 2011 uh, Volkswagen Polo. It's a 1.2 petrol three cylinder engine. So uh, a customer complains engine management lights on and the car runs slightly rough. It's not misfiring, but it's not running 100% as well. So what we done was uh, put the diagnostic machine and it comes up with uh, these three fault codes, P003, P0037, P0036. So this is all, this all three are to do with uh, O2 sensors. So it says O2 sensor, bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor, bank one, sensor two, and O2 sensor, bank one, sensor two. So basically it's, it's, it's coming up with faults with both O2 sensors. And this car has got only one bank anyway because it's three cylinder. And so what we done was, um, before anything, I opened the bonnet and had a look underneath the bonnet to see maybe the, uh, the plug was unconnected or maybe there was a cut on the wire or anything. And all I can see, I left the car up as well. It is connected and I, I checked the pins as well. The pins are fine. So, and actually when you're looking at the O2 sensor, which is, this is bank one sensor one and there's one down there bank one sensor two so if you look at the O2 sensor you can see this is a brand new sensor so this sensor was replaced in another garage at some point so um, in this case I had a very strong feeling that the problem we had wasn't the sensor and in another way of finding out the Another easy way of finding out if the sensor is faulty or you have an electric issue. This is not 100%, but if you want to do it at home and if you have a little uh, diagnostic machine, just turn the, turn the car off, open the ignition, erase the codes. No codes, read the codes again. And it usually comes back on straight away. So if, if this comes back on, we know the problem is uh it's it we have an electric problem it could be a circuit inside the sensor it could be a sensor faulty sensor it could be a cut wiring or it could be anything else so basically it's to do with the sensor it's got nothing to do with the car because sometimes a lot of people change o2 sensors based on as soon as they see a o2 sensor fault code they just they just replace it they don't read the code fully to see if it's an electric problem or if it's the because sometimes you get you know if you got a, bat, a faulty catalytic converter and then you start getting an o2 sensor fault code it, that doesn't necessarily means that you have an o2 sensor problem the o2 sensor is picking up some problems with the car and is telling you there's a problem with the car that doesn't mean the sensor itself is faulty anyway so we have p003 and p0037 and we had another code as well so basically we had three codes on this car um in this case i we checked the wiring, the wiring was fine. We checked the pins, the pins was fine. And, and you, uh, I'm sure you saw the sensors look brand new as well. So they changed the sensor. And uh, a lot of cars, not every car, but most of the cars, O2 sensors run through fuse box. So basically it goes to the fuse box, it runs through it. It's, 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 it's got a, a, a fuse. And then from there it goes to the ECU. So we had we have the, i have the wiring diagram for for this car I use auto data and then i checked it basically there's um these o2 sensors have uh three wires i'm not not four wires sorry so one of them goes to the fuse box and three of them goes straight to the ecu so i before i do anything before i, I take the sensors off i found which fuse it was and I just checked the fuse and the fuse was blown. And both of these bank one sensor one and bank one sensor two, they both run through one, one fuse. And I'll show you where the fuse is. So driver, so this is a UK car. So it's a right-hand drive. Driver side, underneath the dash, we have the fuse box. Basically, this, there's, a, there's a cover, that this cover goes there. And then you just push the car, pull the cover, and then the cover comes off. And then if you look closely, close you can see the numbers on the fuses so this fuse box has a number and uh, on auto data it said fuse number f28 which is it's here it's right here so uh, i haven't put it in yet because i just wanted to show you the f uh, the fault codes we're getting but uh, I, I pulled it out the fuse was blown it's a 10 amp fuse and i'm just going to replace the fuse
So uh, I thought this uh, this is a good video for someone. If if you have this problem and you have a little diagnostic tool and you want to fix the car yourself, this would help. Thanks for watching.